Meanwhile, it is that time of year when the East Coast's largest pop culture event returns to New York City. You know we're talking about Comic-Con. Look at the costumes, okay? The four-day event is back in full force at the Javits Center after last year's convention had to be modified due to the pandemic. Fans, as you can tell, wasted no time showing off their cosplay today. News 12's Faith Graham joins us now with an inside look at day one. Faith? That's right, we're here for day one of Comic-Con, and I can tell you this is the start to what is going to be a very exciting weekend full of creativity. The cosplay that we have seen has been unmatched. It seems like everywhere you turn, people are snapping photos, taking pictures of each other's costumes. Truly shocked by how everyone has shown up today, and I want to show you this one really quick. Take a look at this. The creator of this costume says it took five months to create. It's a life-size robot, and I've got to tell you, when you walk around this convention center, this is arguably one of the largest costumes that you will see today. It's amazing. Normally, I'm the guy in this suit, so seeing the size and presence of this thing and reaction to other people really gives me a whole new perspective from outside. Fans say they've been waiting for this day since last year's convention. It's as if it's Christmas morning. We've seen people of all ages decked out from Stranger Things. It's um, essentially like the upside down, so like all like the black um, dust with the red lighting and stuff. To Star Trek. I mean, I've been piecing together stuff for a while, but I'm a Borg from Star Trek Voyager, one of the alien races. Got my little pig right here. And everything in between. Each costume carefully crafted. Some even made by hand, others sourced from around the world. Floor by floor and booth by booth, these comic fans have endless exhibits to visit. Uh, I'm Goku from Dragon Ball Heroes. Um, I found the wig actually on Etsy and I, and I found a website with the costume put together. You start the day this is over. Yeah, you start planning and putting together what you want to do and you improve from last year and things like that. And the fun does not stop here. Comic-Con will pick back up tomorrow morning and run through Sunday each day complete with panels by industry professionals. So be sure to grab your tickets, your cosplay, and come see the alternate realities that lie right here at Comic-Con. That's the latest from the Javits Center. Faith Graham, News 12.